What is going on everybody? It's Brian from Brian Loves Bonsai and I'm back with another video for you today. So as I go through and pick out all these excessive weeds, I will give you a little bit of background on this tree. I acquired it this past winter and gave it a good structural styling. Some of the branches from the nursery were extending six or seven feet above the upper canopy and so I had to give it a good hard cut back some of it at the nursery and then some of it later at home and since it was during winter dormancy I also went through and gave it a nice thorough root working and potted it into this shallow uh, and wide rectangle as you can see the weeds are growing crazy the tree is growing really well it's planted in my standard bonsai soil mix of one to one to one red lava expanded shale and pine fines as you can see I'm sorting through the weeded area and looking for the little shoots that are coming out of the root. If you didn't know, you can take root cuttings from elms and plant them right up and generally if there's any root attached to them at all they will respond positively and start growing a new tree for you. So you may be looking at this tree and thinking to yourself, you're looking at the upper canopy and saying wow that is growing very very vigorously Brian. How did you get that Chinese elm to grow so vigorously and I will tell you I have a very special secret that we have been developing for a long long time over here at Brian Loves Bonsai. It is called Roots Under Soil. Using patented technology and forbidden secrets, root under soil technique will give you unrestricted growth in both your roots and canopy. That was just a quick shout out from one of our sponsors. Shout out to Root Under Soil. Thank you for everything that you do. Uh, you've been killing the game since the dawn of trees. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, we will get back on track and get to the gist of what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing a pretty significant cutback and structural pruning. Uh, the tree is definitely going to look a lot more barren when I get done with it. I'm definitely trying to look through the structure of the tree and look for those long extended pieces that are just kind of going in a straight line. If they're thin enough that I might be able to wire them this coming fall slash winter, I will definitely leave them on the tree. But the thick, thick pieces, I'm going to look for areas of movement and I'm going to try and kind of prune and structurally prune uh, movement into the tree by cutting back some of those thick pieces that don't have any movement at all. And then for the exterior of the tree, the pieces of the canopy that are reaching out towards the edges, I am just going to be cutting back maintenance pruning style, which basically means I'm going to be cutting back to that one or two leaves. Uh, these elms do grow in an alternating pattern, so two pairs of leaves would be pretty far down the leaf. You'd have four leaves, uh, four nodes potentially, which might be a little bit too long, so I would go to one or two leaves and just kind of get that back and forth motion, one to two, two to four, four to eight, and continue building that ramification where it's appropriate. Um, but a lot of this right now uh, is mostly just picking through these long extending shoots. I did want the tree to grow with some vigor, which clearly all these extending shoots show that the tree was doing really well and happy in its situation. Um, but I am gonna come through and pick out stuff to kind of give it a more appropriate shape. Uh, I'm a little bit more uh, forgiving. On my first run through I try and leave some pieces that I go back through and cut again. Uh, you can always take more off the tree but you can't put stuff back on, right? So uh, I tend to be a little bit more conservative when I'm first cutting back and then I'll go through again. Uh, it might be a little bit more time consuming but right now that's just the level that I'm at where I don't feel super confident to just completely rip the tree but after looking at it a few times uh, I do feel confident enough to achieve the goal that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead now and kind of sort through the tree. I'll put some music on in the background so you can relax and watch me finish off the pruning and then it will end with a 360 degree display of this tree. I did notice while filming the 360 that the back side of this tree does have a very unique and interesting option for being a future front 
as per usual. Uh, this triple trunk on the front side still, I think, is the, the best view, but there is a view that I see from the rear side that is quite, quite interesting to me, so go ahead and take a look at that. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Thanks again. From Brian Loves Bonsai. Thank you.